sorry for the wind noise. We are back at our old walking spot near the old house by the little ponds and then um, the river in a second we're gonna go to. And it feels very thrilled to be back here after a year. The dogs don't know what's going on. So we're so happy, he's got so much energy on this walk, seeing his old spots. I find myself knowing now that I live remotely. Um, we don't really come into contact with many people. I can see so many people dotted around here. There's one there, there's some over there. They're like, there's, there's at least 10 people dotted around here doing their walks, which before this was our big open space. I felt comfortable letting them off lead. Now that Teddy rides a bike and does so many miles a day, he needs so much exercise. And also, I guess I haven't worked on his recall in so long. Um, that unless he's been out walking for about five miles, four to five miles, he doesn't have recall. He only has recall when he's extra tired. So I, I find myself not wanting to let Teddy off lead at all. This is, he's going straight back on lead in a second. He was just getting let off lead to have a little drink. <laughs> Ted! There you go, that was, that was some, some recall. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy! Whereas Nico and Phil, they're angels. She's just not friendly to other dogs. Um, so yeah, beautiful life in the country, but it makes me more panicked when I'm walking my dogs in built-up areas now. And this wouldn't even really, before, would I have classed as a built-up area? You want to play? You going to get him? Yep, she is. Right, come so we are now at our old walking spot by the river with some beautiful city trash hanging from some of the trees, lowering it last flooded. Do we miss this area? I think you do. I think you miss all the... Ah, don't you jump at me. Don't you jump at me. Um, yeah, I think Phil actually misses this area. It's more like he just loves meeting people and everything, so... I think he misses seeing everybody in a busy walk, which I don't miss because of Nico. It means that I can freely walk her and not have to worry about her sassiness, shall we say. Um, yeah, you've been for a little swim, haven't you? I've never seen you with so much energy, Phil. I thought country life was for you, but maybe you like the city life a bit better. Other things I don't miss about the walk. Come on. How are you going to make it up here? Let Phil go first. Go on, Phil. Good boy. Good boy, Phil. You two can pull me up. Look at him. When was the last time you saw Phil like this? Oh, Phil. I wonder if they recognise I know he knows where he is, but I wonder if he's recognising smells and stuff as well. Billy Bear. <laughs> I love her. I just love how happy you are. I do. I do. Come on. don't I? No privacy in this house. Yeah, that is Manchester City in the distance. Way, way, way in the distance. Um, and when I drove past, they now have, you know, like city bikes that you can hire. You have to download an app or something. Um, and I think they're electric, but I'm not sure. You know, you can get these scooters. So I was fully contemplated. I don't know how they work, if they're like location tagged or anything, before she can take them places like this where it's off road or if they're just for like riding along the roads. But I was fully contemplating <laughs> downloading this app and working out how I can hire these bikes by the hour so that I can take Teddy for an extra. It's only, we're only here for it's six days. We go on Wednesday. Um, but it just feels like I'm not exercising him enough doing the daily walks that we used to do now that he's a a runner and also he's always off leading um, a new place.
pace. So I don't know. I'm sure he's fine. He's getting an hour a day. That'll do. Um, it's fine for Phil and Nico, but I just feel like he's not stimulated enough in the little garden and We will be seeing them very, very soon. I think we've made perfect timing on our walk. This is what we were walking in. And this is what is about to come. I feel like you can see that you see the diagonal lines going down the sky. That's the rain that's about to hit us. Oh, that sky looks forbidden. Get back to the van. Pull the heavens open. It's funny though, I just thought I used to look forward to the rain walks simply because it usually meant nobody else was walking and you got the place to yourself. So I would actively go out when it was raining because it meant I could have free off lead time. I'd get soaked, but at least the dogs would be exercised well. Oh, how things have changed. <laughs> 